when I grow a new plant, it's like I get a new friend. Oh, here we go makes again. Happy. I see. I mean, if it does well, make you happy, then there's no hurting it. Just make sure to talk to normal people too. Again. Sure. Hello, guys, and welcome back to some more Scarlet Nexus. So, do I have a um? I only have one brain point. The Earth is going extinct. It's so much at once that my head is spinning. We have to understand it all, though, so we can keep moving forward. I agree with you. This is right after the last episode, by the way. Because I didn't want to end it um, with, with her saying something without saving. So, I mean, I, I thought I might as well record another one. All right, let's see. Watch TV or talk to people. I guess I'll watch TV for now. I just want to relax, sit back and watch some TV, you know? Ever since the Suo incident, there was seven national defense forces have increased security to prevent further revolts. However, threat levels remain high and the situation remains unsafe. When a declaration of emergency is made, we urge citizens to remain indoors and help maintain public order. Maybe I should talk to Sugumi. Maybe you should. I didn't know Kagero's secret either. He was working for his family this whole time. True. Alright, let's do a little Bond episode here. Yuito. Do you have a moment? Yeah, what is it? That white flower. The silent snow melt. Something about it has me curious. Did you find something out? I'm not positive yet, but remember when we climbed Hiano Mountain? Yeah, it was cold there. Walking through the snow was tough too. That mountain is the perfect place for the silent snow melt to grow, I think. You did say something about that flower blooming on cold mountains, didn't you? Yeah, so I'm going to go. You're going to go where? To Hiano Mountain. What? You're going to Hiano Mountain by yourself to look for that flower? I won't just look for it. I'll bring it back. I will show you that flower. But damn. No, that's way too dangerous. It's a steep mountain and there are others there. I can't let you do it. It's fine. I can fight. I've been fighting longer than you. That's true, but going alone is a bit... <sighs> Are you absolutely set on going? Yes. Even if you try to stop me. Oh, that's great. You're kind of... <sighs> no, you're really stubborn. Alright, I'm going with you. What? But... It's no use. I'm going, even if you try to stop me. <laughs> okay, then we'll go together. Yeah. That sounds lovely. To Hino Mountain. Am I actually going there? Is it just that they're gonna talk now? Or what, what, what's gonna happen here? Oh, we're we actually going to... It's always so cold here. The flower we're looking for is probably higher up. Yeah, we might have to go to the summit. This climate isn't its natural environment. Okay, let's go to the summit then. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to go all the way up again. All right, let's do it. I got this. We can do this. Uh, we are, we're a great team, aren't we, viewers? I think we are. All right, so this way. Let's go. Yep. Okay, that was, um, ignore that. I didn't miss. Come on. Oh, we've got another one of those oil spitting things. It's split. Take down the real ones and the dummy will disappear. You need to figure it out. I don't know which one is the dummy one and which one is the real one. It's you. You're the real one. Don't think this is the area we were supposed to go to. Oh well, we're going around again. Don't worry, Sugumi. I totally know where I'm, where I'm going. Okay, it's all part of the plane. I just felt like I needed some more stuff, you know. Yeah. 
Oh, okay, there's another one. If your body begins to burn with fire, it'll drain your health, so be careful. That one explodes. Don't get too close. Don't worry, it's fine. I got Gamma's <laughs> power here. I got you, buddy. Watch out for electric attacks. You won't be able to move if you're electrified. Yeah. We're good? I think we're good. I'm just gonna keep it activated, why not? Hey. I should be this way. Crap, that's a lot of explosions. Did I go the wrong way again? I was just here. Come on, game. <laughs> well, I guess, um, other way it is. All right. I have a great sense of direction. Theory and the others is that the others are actually the people from the moon. That's my guess, at least. So all the others we've been fighting, they're probably people that have been turned into them. Thank you very much for- oh boy, another one. You're not? Okay, that's good, because we're gonna have to fight a lot more others to get all the way back again. Well, that area in there is filled with enemies, so let's not go in there, that's for sure. That's a no-go. Is this it? Oh, I found it. A whole cluster of them. Wow. Looks like you were right after all. So, where is it? Close by. Wait. Oh, oh no. What? What do you see? An other is walking near the flowers. It'll crush them. Let's hurry. Can't believe we're risking our lives for a flower. Oh no. No. It's that one. I guess we can't just shoot away. 
Watch out. Here it comes. Get ready to fight. Understood. This is not an overpowered one. Water attack. Getting wet limits your mobility, so be careful. Some help, Luca. Here we go. Good timing. Thanks, Sugumi. I have all these powers at my disposal. What are you gonna do about it, huh? Haywire right now. God damn it. Will you please not die, Sugumi? I really don't want to waste all my stuff right now. There we go. Which one is the real one? You're the real one. Also a real one. Here we go. That should do it. Are the flowers okay? They were trampled. They're almost all crushed. If we had only found them sooner. Well, we were up here like for the main mission. We're still fine to me. I saw below the ground with my clairvoyance. The stems are broken and the roots are twisted. They're all hurt. No way. Not even a single one survived? Some are just weak. I think they'll recover. It will take time, though. I see. Well, at least we saved them from being completely wiped out. But I don't know what to do. I plan to bring the flowers back with me. Will they just wilt if you bring them down from the mountain like this? With the right nutrients, they'll be fine. I've thought about how to cultivate them, so I'm pretty confident. But the environment I'd be growing them in would be harsh for them. I'm not sure if it's the right thing to do. You're such a kind person. There are more than these flowers. The idea of they... just leaving these flowers here? This is the best environment for them, so they'll be healthy here. But you like these flowers. Are you sure? Just the fact that I was able to see them blooming makes me happy. And you worked hard for that to happen. So, what do you think? I... If the flowers are happy, I don't want to ruin that. Okay, let's go then. Yeah. That's like the equivalent to um, you having money, not hey. wanting to buy an item. Or will you want an item, but you're not buying it. Because you? you're just leaving huh? it there. Except um, this is a good situation. A the other flower. one is kind of like you can't so afford it. <laughs> to try to grow it myself. So a little intellectual curiosity then? I guess you're like a botanist. When I grow a new plant, it's like I get a new friend. Oh, here we go makes again. Happy. I see. I mean, if it does well, make you happy, then there's no hurting it. Just make sure to talk to normal people too. Again. Sure. Um, and. Hmm. Was there another reason? No, it's nothing. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. There's obviously another reason. Uh, now I really want to know what it is. But it's not like I can force her to tell me. Well, I'm sure she'll tell me eventually. We should get back to the hideout and get some rest. 
oh boy, she's gonna get crushed when I say that I'd rather be with Anabi in the end. If you can even do that. When they do, I want to show you, Yuito. I'm looking forward to it. You're good at taking care of plants. You're good at taking care of me. Of me? You're good at taking care of people. Huh? Really? Oh man, you're making me blush. Bond level 4, sure, increased ACS, recovery speed, and assault vision. Um, Alright, good. Tell, would you... No, never mind. Hmm. Did you want to say something? Just let me know when you want to talk. I don't have a gift, right? Nope. Okay. Oh, Hanabi also needs a little uh, bonding episode. Everyone needs a bonding episode. My goodness, does that require me to do things too? Oh, let's do Hanabi, since um, she's the one I'm planning to actually be with. It's more fun living in what? the unit than I thought. It's a little inconvenient. Be with the end? Okay. Yeah, but everyone in our platoon is nice, and I'm always with you. I hope we can keep fighting together. Being with you makes me feel... safe. I just randomly reached it now? Okay. I mean, it works. Attack an unguarded enemy and then I will call out. Answer her with... Okay. That's pretty useful. Got a golden bucket doll as a present. Maybe it's time to move beyond being childhood friends. What? A nine? Why are you anxious? I like that we're childhood friends. You were told you poor excuse of a man. A lot happened, but I'm glad we made up with Kasane. That was the only good thing. All right, that's good. That's good. I don't have a uh, tennis racket this time around, huh? What about you guys? How, how are you doing, Wataru? How, how are you doing? Sue and Siren both had crazy big secrets, but Togetsu had the biggest bomb. I guess that's true. Alright, let's see what you want. So the psychokinesis that Yuto and Kasane have is a type of kravikinesis? The possibility of time travel is incredible power. I mean, you're true. That's true. Very true. Yuito, this is perfect. Will you accompany me to the gym? Yeah, sure. Are we lifting weights? If so, why don't we invite Gemma? I'd like to keep it the two of us today. There is something I wish to confirm with you. Uh, okay. So, what do you want to confirm? Don't tell me you have a crush on like you too. Test. No, we are not here to train. What? I brought you here because there's no one around, making it perfect for us to talk alone. What are we gonna do then? Something wrong? Remember when we went to the old OSF hospital? Oh, yeah. you are a dud. That I see. That's what you're going to tell me, huh? Did you hear the researchers talking about my brother and me? Oh, well, uh... You're as bad at lying as ever. So you know, then, that my brother and I were duds. Yeah. I didn't say anything because I thought it would bother you. I see, uh... Thank you for your concern. He won't look at me. Maybe he didn't want me to know. How did you know that I knew? After we returned to the hideout from the old OSF hospital, you told everyone that you were a dud. Your face changed when you looked at me. That made me believe that perhaps you knew. Oh, you could see it on my face. Sorry. Don't be. It was inevitable that you would find out. I am curious, though. Why did you feel it was necessary to tell everyone that you were one? Um... It's a handicap to be a dud in this world. I failed to see how that knowledge being public would help you. Well, I didn't think that any of you would treat me differently just because I said I was a dud. And everyone reacted just like I thought they would. It made me realize there's a lot of good in my life. <laughs> I don't think anyone would care if you told them. I don't agree. Luca. Unlike you, I've lived knowing the burden of being a dud. I may be a Septentrion, 
but my power was implanted through experiments. I wasn't born with it. It could suddenly disappear one day. And when that happens, the public will turn on me. That's the fear I've always lived with. I can't just change and become carefree like you. Uh, yes, you no can. No matter what the public thinks, you're still Luca. You've been fighting in the OSF for so long. You work harder than anyone else and achieved a lot. That won't change no matter what people say. More like you, you work out more than anyone else. Your strength lies in the fact that you can say that. But I am not like you. Or my brother. I am not strong enough to fight against the tide. What do you mean tide? Luca, there is no tide. This is who I am. Please, promise me. Please don't tell anyone that I am a dud. Okay. You were a dud. Thank you. And that's all I wanted to talk about. I'm going back now. I am counting on you. Don't worry. I'll keep my promise. He looked worried. I know the secret he kept for so many years. Maybe me promising isn't enough. No. I just have to work to make sure he's not threatened. I'll keep my word. No matter what. I'll try to convince him more. I mean, it doesn't technically matter whatsoever, because the friend talk? group they're with so? is very anime. Thanks. <laughs> You're gentle, earnest, and straightforward. It makes me a little jealous. I can't be like you, and I don't have to. But I still recognize your good qualities. That that's good. All right, everyone, Lucas a dud. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to get to know you even better. I was actually thinking the same thing. I think we can be better friends. Hey, watch our Lucas a dud. <laughs> Just going around telling everyone. Like honestly, I don't think anyone would really care. Like. Why are they so worried about it? I know that dots are looked down upon. But at the same time... Like, the fact this is a Tentrion means that dots have a chance of... Uh, he could become the face of dots being able to fight against the others and they could turn that around. So being a dot isn't that bad anymore. He could be the first of the dots to uh, stand up for uh, for the other dots. So I don't, don't really get why exactly they're doing all that. Well, why he's trying to keep it a secret. Just because it doesn't want to get looked down upon. That's kind of weak in my opinion. Uh, well, at least he acknowledges this. So, eh. Working out once all that, by the way. That's mental, not uh, not physical, dude. We had a rough time in Togetsu, but we gained a lot too. It wasn't all bad, right, Yuito? I guess so. You don't seem to have anything. Do I have anything for you, Luke? No? I don't, I don't have it. Okay, you know, I'm... I don't have anything, you know, let's just continue the story here. This is fine. Before we go back to Suo. All right. We're going back to Suo, but they think we're rebels. When we get there, do you think they'll send the National Defense Forces or the OSF after us? We'll just kill them. Even if we do get caught, who says we won't be able to make a request to see the chief? We'll most likely get our personalities rehabilitated before then. I thought about it. And I think it might be best to say we want to see my brother right off the bat. Yuita, that's bold. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure just they bold, know you know. All over, learning secrets. My brother takes the Sumeragi name seriously. I think he'll want to persuade me to join him. Now that I'm branded a rebel, he might expect me to come crying to him. That's crazy. I'm almost certain that he's waiting for me. All right. But we should do what we can to prepare for a confrontation. Yeah, I know. I sure do hope Kaito hears you out. It'll be nice he to get might. some new information from him as well. There's probably many things we still don't know. I agree. And he is the head of the OSF. So it is safe to say that he knows just as many secrets as the counselors. I guess if that's the case, maybe it is worth trying. What is it, Wataru? No, it's just... I was thinking of ways I could support you from here. Anyway, don't worry about it. Okay. Keep up the good work. Alright, let's head out to Suo. To Suo. Eternal Vow, Eternal Bond.
Cooperation. Yeah, let's team up, people. A state of emergency has been declared in Suo. Civilians should evacuate to shelters immediately. Again? Seriously. What's going on? There aren't any soldiers. No, they're just hiding. This whole area is surrounded by the National Defense Forces. They're waiting to ambush the rebels. But something isn't right. They're definitely planning something. Even if it's a trap, all we can do is go straight in. Let's head to the OSF headquarters. Someone's coming this way. Is that... Hey, Yuito. I missed you. Oh, greatest Nagi. Nagi. What are you doing here? What am I doing here? <laughs> Just hanging out, you know? I'm here to clean the rebel filth out from the great new Himuka. Is it new Himuka's plan to make us fight Nagi? I won't do it. We don't need to fight. Nagi, run away with us. We'll find a way to undo the personality rehabilitation. If they can just change you like that, there must be a way to change you back. What? I can't go now. The fun's about to start. I'm gonna kill you and rip out your brain! This brain? time he's not screwing around, Maybe huh? Maybe he's ordered to get Yuito's brain. What? Hey, Yuito. We're friends. You'd do me a favor, wouldn't you? Give me your brain! You're a zombie now? He's so strong. This isn't just personality rehabilitation. He's received some kind of power enhancement. Damn! Why? Why is this happening? Do we have to fight? Feel free to stand there if you don't want to fight me! I'm gonna cut off that ugly head of yours either way! All right. I mean, I'm happy that you just kind of stopped after attacking me. That's that's a good thing. Thank you. Thank you. This is also where I'm going to have to end this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, consider liking and subscribing. I hope to see you in the next one. And as always, stay awesome.